All right, y'all, welcome back to Comet Arms channel. Okay, so right now I'm waiting for the Xbox and Bethesda showcase, as a lot of y'all probably watched live. So I'm really excited about this. So I know we should be seeing some stuff from Halo. We should be seeing stuff from Battlefield. That's what I'm most excited for. I'm not exactly sure how much more we're going to be seeing in this showcase. But yeah, I mean, Bethesda games, I mean, has a pretty nice stuff. Xbox in general is going to be pretty exciting for me as well. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys are most excited for down in the comments section. But I pretty much came here for the Halo and Battlefield. So I'm just going to be reacting to those in this video. But if you guys have anything else that you'd like me to check out or anything that you thought was really interesting, of course, you can throw that down below. But this should be really good. I'm excited. We have about a minute left before it actually starts. So I don't really know what we're going to be seeing with Halo. I mean, imagine it's going to be stuff with Halo Infinite, but I can't imagine they would have so much. I mean, the game doesn't get released for several more months. So, I mean, I don't think they're going to have a whole lot more to show us, but I'm just, I'm just excited to see anything. To be honest, I'm a huge Halo fan. If you guys couldn't tell with like the small stuff I have in the background that's Halo related, I'm a huge fan of it. So, And of course, Battlefield is much better than Call of Duty, so I'm excited for that. And Battlefield 2042, kind of weird, a little bit like kind of futuristic -y and kind of silly, just judging by the stuff we saw already. But I do like how they're doing that fan service as far as like, you know, we understand what you guys like and we're going to put that into the game. But yeah, I would like to see a campaign. I don't know what we're going to be seeing, but okay, this looks like it's about to start. So yeah, we'll check it out and we'll do a little reaction for you guys. Okay, here it is. Incoming fire! Ooh, it doesn't look that great already. It's just the quality of the video itself, though. Attention all squad. Okay. The Russian troops are falling back. Do whatever you can to secure the sector. Dude. Yeah, you can tell there's a lot of people on that map. It's kind of a boring map though, with just like all the sand and stuff. It's like very vehicle focused, I think. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah, when you have these big matches, you can have like all this random stuff happening in the background that you wouldn't even like see unless you had different camera feeds or something. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Ooh, some Mars technology right there. Yeah, so again, these, when these maps are this big, you like really need to utilize the vehicles, which are okay, but I'm not a huge fan of the vehicle stuff. I kind of like the smaller maps where you have just people clashing. Yeah, it is a weird map though, isn't it? Everything's just like... Okay, that's kind of cool. You can do it in-game. Yeah, everything's like covered in sand. You got this massive sandstorm. Uh, oh, there we go. Was that the, the C4? ATV there? Classic. Okay, yeah, this is what I'm talking about though. Like, it's a lot of like roof combat though, isn't it? I wonder how much of those buildings are like really fleshed out. I prefer the parachute though, to be honest. Oh, dude. That storm actually is freaking. It adds a weird dynamic to the games for sure. There we go. Oh, it sounds pretty cool though. I like the, the rocket sounds. Okay. I don't know what to feel about it though. I, I'm gonna have to pause it here. October 22nd. Okay, so that's not too bad. I mean, I don't know. It, it seems cool, but it seems kind of like, I don't know, 
not not really gimmicky. It just seemed like there's a lot going on. Again, I really liked it when Battlefield was like simple. You had like Battlefield Bad Company too. Some pretty big maps, so sometimes it wasn't like always action packed. But I like how you're able to implement like the bullet drop dynamic with the snipers, and then you could move in close and start utilizing all your special tech like the C4 and whatnot. And that was just really fun. But Battlefield has gotten so big to where you can have these massive like maps and all these players. And it, it relies very heavily on on vehicles, and I mean not just for fighting people, but also for just general transport. I remember I'd play some Battlefield games, and you'd spawn at your location, and you'd have to wait for a, a boat or another vehicle to spawn, and some guy would just get in the boat and drive off without you, and you'd just be waiting, and it was kind of a pain in the butt. But yeah, I mean I don't know. It's it seems pretty cool. I'm I'm still pretty open minded for it. I just don't know if it's going to be exactly what. I would want out of the Battlefield game right now. I do like how it's not super futuristic to the point where it's just like silly and you can't really get into the mind of it. And all the guns look relatively modern as far as the stuff that you'd see today. So, I mean, it's kind of nice. You can still use the, the guns that you like that you've used in Call of Duty and previous Battlefields. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section because I have pretty mixed feelings. I don't really know how it's going to be how it's going to be fleshed out when the game's actually in. Uh, again, I hope they will do a campaign because Battlefield without a campaign just feels weird. This holiday marks oh, snap. the 20th anniversary of Xbox and the 20th anniversary of Halo. Hell to yeah. our millions of passionate fans, thank you. Is that Jason Jones? We wouldn't Jones? be here without all of you. Our goal has always been to bring players together and for the first time, we're thrilled to offer our entire multiplayer experience to all players across Xbox and PC with no barriers. Nice. Halo Infinite multiplayer will be free to play and invite more of you than ever before to become oh, a Spartan hero. Dude. I'm excited to be here with Joseph Staten, That's pretty the creative director Joseph of Halo Staten. Infinite. Okay. From helping craft the original Halo Combat Evolve to leading the fan favorite, Halo 3 ODST. Joseph Dude. is a Halo visionary. OG. It is so great to have him back with Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. Hell and yeah, hey, everybody. Dude. For us, and I hope many of you, Halo has always been about heroism and wonder, about fighting to keep humanity safe against impossible odds in a beautiful and mysterious sci-fi world. Okay. This is just one part of the Zeta Halo ring the largest, most wide open Zeta. environment we've ever built. And we can't wait for you to explore it. Get some waterfalls or something in the background. It's kind of cool, little camp. Okay, we've got the covenant there. The heart of Halo is Spartan 117, the Master Chief. In nice, the next hell yeah. The Chief's story, you'll face his greatest challenge yet, but they're not alone in the fight. Oh, the main batteries are shut down. Oh, yeah, that dude. We're stuck out here. It doesn't look as cartoony now. The armor looks freaking sick. You have one bullet against an entire army. What can you do on your own? <laughs> I told you. It's enough. So I see. What is going on here, dude? <laughs> He's pushing his way through bodies and stuff. Oh, is that like an escape pod or something? I need you to understand. There's not much time. Is that an MA, MA4? Name that rifle? Cortana, dude. All right, there we go. There's that grappling hook again. What happened? Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? Oh, snap. Are you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? <laughs> Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Kinda Yours sus. were to take her back to the infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay then. 
Mm, pretty sus. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Cor Cortana V2. Good. Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? Master Chief is mad clingy. <laughs> oh. She's in for it now. Of course, you can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. And on Xbox Series X, mm -hmm. you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action at up to 120 frames per second. Nice. Finally, I'm very happy to announce that Halo Infinite's first free-to-play multiplayer season and Infinite's story-driven campaign will launch together this holiday. A new day is okay. Well, that's good. It's not getting pushed back anymore. Generation built to yes, there we go. CQB helmet. Together, we are unstoppable. It looks good, though. It's not like cartoony oh, like it was looking. Nice. That just feels like the classic Halo gameplay right there. Maybe not that, but... <laughs> they got a no-scope thing now? Okay. Nice maps. Oh, shit. That was cool. <laughs> I'm liking it though. Let's do some damage. The maps look really, really solid. That's cool. What is it? Grapple jet? Okay. That looks like a classic map right there. Valhalla, maybe, I think. Ordnance drop inbound. That's giving me some high ground vibes too. This is looking really cool, not gonna lie. I was kind of worried when we saw how like cartoony and weird it looked, but this definitely feels like a Halo game. At your earliest convenience. Hell yeah, capture the flag. Oh snap. Is this a new game mode? <laughs> nice. That's a cool helmet. Dude, that was freaking sick. I don't know about the campaign, but the multiplayer looks really good so far. Alright, dang, it's like six months away, dude. It's so close, but like, still so far. I guess that's it for Halo. Okay, I'm going to pause this and I don't really care about the rest of the stuff. All right, so we saw Battlefield. We saw Halo. Uh, I don't know what I'm more excited for. I mean, Halo in general, at least it's a, it's a fully fleshed out game or it's going to be like a full Halo because you have the campaign and you have the multiplayer. But with Battlefield not having a campaign, it kind of sucked. But it does look, look like it should be a lot of fun. Uh, so I think... I think Halo is definitely going to be the safer bet for me, especially with the multiplayer. The multiplayer looked really solid. So again, I was kind of worried and people were kind of memeing on Halo before when we saw the, the Halo Infinite trailer. But now it's it's a, it's looking a little bit better. It's looking a little bit more fleshed out, a little bit less silly, a little bit less to meme on. So that's always good to see. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. It definitely feels like an, an original Halo game. It feels like a Halo game to me. With like some of the like Halo Five, even like Halo Four a bit, was sort of like starting to deviate a little bit. The multiplayer was still kind of there, but this seems like it's definitely staying true to its roots. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. If you think it's going to compare with like Halo Four or Halo Five, or if they're sort of bringing back some of that original Halo, let me know what you guys think. But I do like the new weapons. I like the. I think we saw like some new game modes. Those look pretty cool. So. I don't know. I'm excited for it. I mean, you guys can see I have a UNSC tattoo, so I'm kind of a Halo fan for life, which I'm 
I'm totally fine with. Again, this does feel like a Halo game. The multiplayer looks like a lot of fun. Now with people who grew up playing the original Halos, it, they're going to be looking for that original Halo feel. And I think it's okay if it deviates a little bit as far as like adding all these weapons, these special effects, or like, you know, all these effects you can do with a grappling hook and whatnot. I don't think it's going to deviate that much. I think it'll still feel like a Halo game. And I mean, Halo multiplayer is always a lot of fun regardless. So should be really cool. I'm excited about it. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. If you guys like the video, you can hit that thumbs up. Comment, let me know what you think regardless. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I will try and do some some videos playing Halo when it does come out. It's not normally my, my it's not my usual content, but I like to throw in some gaming stuff every now and again, especially when there's stuff that I'm excited for. Because again, you can just feel that passion from like 2000. 2005 coming up when I was really getting into Halo. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. That is it for this one. I will see you all in the next one.